Hello, welcome to my video. This is Dr. Sise covering anatomy and physiology. Today, I want to teach you the name of the 206 adult bones. At birth, we have 270, many of them fused, to shrink the number down to 206. Look at the two views of the human skeletal system, the anterior and the posterior view. Uh, I'll teach you the bones of the skull, the cephalic region, divided into facial and cranial, then the trunk, then the upper and the lower limb with some acronym that will be, make it easy for you to memorize. The eight cranial bones, we have an acronym for it, TAP FISH. Temporal, occipital, parietal, frontal, ethmoid, sphenoid. And I added a hyoid so that the acronym can sound better, but it's not part of the cranial bone. This is the temporal, the temple. The occipital, think about when you have accident, the back of your head accidental. The parietal will be the part, the one on the lateral part of your head. The frontal, the forehead. The ethmoid, E, looks like an E posteriorly. You see a little part of it on the cranial protruding from here. It's the very top here. And on the skull, you see the part of it, that you see part of the septum and inside the eye socket. Then the sphenoid, sphenoid is in the center of the skull, look like a bird. And the hyoid, like I said, the hyoid is not part of the cranial. We just add it to make the acronym sound better. It's in the superior part of the larynx on your neck. Let's practice the name now. Tap fish, temporal, occipital, parietal, frontal, ethmoid, sphenoid, and we added hyoid. Good job, cranial. Now, let, let's look at the skull now and talk about the 14 facial bones. Now, the 14 facial bones, we have a beautiful acronym for it. No man likes it, man, Miss VIP. Pretend Miss VIP is a person who you're talking to and telling her she should have a zit on her face, a pimple on her face. Now, you can see the bones are with the N, nasal, nasal, maxilla, lacrimal, zygomatic, mandible. Now, malleus, incus, and stapes are the three auditory articles in the ear, then the vomer, inferior nasal concha, and palatine. Now, let's talk each one individually. The nasal is the nose, maxilla, upper jaw. When you suck your thumb, you're touching your maxilla. The lacrimal bone is in the eye socket, Lagrimal, like um, tear, lagrimal. That's why sometimes when you're crying, you kind of suck your nose because your tear go into lacrimal fossa from your eye into your nose. And then the zygomatic bone, the cheekbone, zygomatic. The auditory articles, we have three of them. Remember, miss VIP, the miss, malleus, incus, stapes. Malleus, hammer, looking like. Incus, anvil, looking like. Stapes, stirrup. Then the mandible near the lower jaw. The vomer, you can see the vomer is extending to the middle part of the ethmoid to form the septum of the nose, the part of the uh, your bone that divides your head into left and right. Then the inferior nasal concha. The way to remember that, inferior is below, nasal in the nose, concha means shelf in Latin. So inferior nasal concha is the lower shelf in the nose. Then the palatine is posterior to the maxilla. So when you suck your thumb, when you touch your maxilla, going in back a little bit, you are touching your palatine. Let's practice the uh, 14 facial bones. Nasal, maxilla, lacrimal, zygomatic, mandible. Now the three auditory articles, malleus, incus, stapes, then the VIP, vomer, inferior nasal concha, and palatine. Now let's Look at the skull in general. Now you should be able to kind of recognize frontal, parietal, occipital, temporal, sphenoid, ethmoid. Now nasal, maxilla, lacrimal, zygomatic, mandible, palatine, vomer, inferior nasal concha, and the hyoid. Let's move to the thoracic cage. RSV, ribs, sternum, vertebrae. The ribs, we have 12 of them, one to seven are true, to, to 8 to 12 are false and floating 11 to 12. Floating means it does not touch the sternum. False means it touches the sternum, but 
They fuse as cartilage or bone to get to the sternum, and the true ribs are directly attached to the sternum. Look at the sternum here. You see some ribs attached, some ribs indirectly, and some do not attach at all. This is the sternum. And then the vertebrae, we have cervical vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, lumbar vertebrae. Then the sacrum and coccyx. Sacrum is like a secret place, and coccyx is like a tailbone. Those are the tailbone. So cervical vertebrae, thoracic vertebrae, lumbar vertebrae, sacrum, and coccyx. Then let's go to the upper limb, crash PM. They have a crash on the prime minister. The CC, clavicle and carpal. The RU, radius and ulna. The SH, scapula and humerus. And the PM, phalanges metacarpal. Let's talk about them one by one. Clavicle, scapula. The clavicle will be anterior, like to the front side, collarbone, and scapula, shoulder blade on the back. So C comes before S, clavicle comes front, scapula, back. Then you see the clavicle here and the scapula here. Then the humerus. The way to remember the humerus, it's humerus. When somebody wants to tickle you, they put your, their hand under your humerus, humor. Then the radius has a, uh, like a circular part on the proximal end of the radius. The radius is half of the diameter of the circle. Then the ulna looks like an U here, ulna. Then the right hand carpal bone, the carpal, remember carpal tunnel syndrome, the carpal bones, we have eight of them. Scaphoid, lunate, trachytrum, and pisiform. Scaphoid, boat-like, lunate, luna, which is the moon, moonlight. Trachytrum, three sides, like a triangle. Pisiform, a P-shape like. Now, trapezium and trapezoid sound like, because it's the same name, just uh, in American English and British English. It's just like different angles, like many angles on the shape. Trapezium, trapezoid. Capitate, capital, big head. Handmade, hook line. Now, the acronym, she looks too pretty, try to catch her. You can pause the video and practice this. She, she looks too pretty. She, scaphoid, looks lunate, too trachytrum, pretty busy form. Try to catch her. Try trapezium, too trapezoid, catch, capitate, her hamid. Here, you can practice. Pause the video and practice on this. And then the metacarpal, we have five of them. Metacarpal, one, two, three, four, five. Then the phalanges, we got proximal, the one closer to the metacarpal. Middle, the next one, and distal, the very end tip of your fingers. Now let's go to the lower limb. We have the hip bone, then the femur, the patella, the tibia and fibula, the tarsal, metatarsal phalanges. Remember the carpal, metacarpal phalanges? Tarsal, metatarsal phalanges. Now we have a beautiful acronym for it. Having fast feet takes to many phantom places. Having hip, fast femur, feet, fibula, takes tough tibia, right? That's why I made a T big, tibia, to tarsal, many metatarsal, phantom phalanges, blazes patella. Let's look at them here. The pelvic bone has three names, coxal bone, asacoxa, or inaminate bone. It has three parts, the pubis, the ilium, and the ischium. The pubis is interior in the pubic area, the front part of the bone. The ilium is the elevated part of it, the top, and the ischium is the one you sit on. Here you see the femur, the patella, the tibia, tough, the fibula, fine, and let's come to the ankle and the foot. The tarsal bone in ankle, the acronym is the talus and calcaneus, push the cube, holding the three cuneiform, medial, intermedial, lateral in the navy. So how do you remember that? Talus, calcaneus, cuboid. Then the three cuneiform, medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, lateral cuneiform, and navicular. You look at them here. The talus is the very one, first one, articulate with the tibia. The calcaneus is inferior at the bottom. When you walk, you walk on your calcaneus and the cuboid. Then the navicular hold the three cuneiform in place. The metatarsal, we have one to five. The phalanges, proximal, medial, distal, just like the other phalanges. Now these are the human skeletal in 10 minutes. You can go back and practice to learn them better. The 206 bone. Thank you very much and I'll see you in class.